Hi everyone, I'm Jenica. Welcome to my YouTube page. Um, what I want to talk about is accurate bending. If you're a beginner guitarist, what even is a bend? Um, so you're going to see that in tabs that you pull up or you want to learn to play a song and it's got a little curve mark over top and that means you're hitting the note and you're lifting the note to a different pitch. And um, you don't want to do that on an acoustic guitar just with one finger. You want to support your bends with two fingers. So let's try this together. I'm going to put finger one on the fifth fret on the B string. I'm going to put finger three on the seventh fret. And finger two is going to pop down in the middle on the sixth fret, all on the same string. And now I'm going to use, um, I don't even know why that finger's on. Usually I just, <laughs> I just use uh, fingers two and three for the bend. So I'm hitting the note and then I'm lifting the pitch of the note. And it's not random. I'm going to a sound that I want to hear. So if I want to hear this note, and I want to bend, you want to do accurate bends. If not, you're just going to sound out of tune. So practice accurate bending. So practice hitting a note, and then hitting a pitch beside it, and then go back to that note, and try and hit that note, put that note in your ear, and you can hear as I go up, it's higher. So bending takes strength and patience and usually um, always support your bends. Unless you're playing an electric guitar with like nine gauge strings that are really easy to bend. Um, on an acoustic, you'll want to support your bends. Uh, you can, and this would be called a half step bend. If I just want to go from here, here. If I want a full bend, I've got to come all the way up to that note. Which it, it requires a lot of strength with this hand um, and calluses obviously. So um, have fun and practice accurate bending.